Welcome to Spelling List Week 12 C. Oops. Set up your paper like this with your name and date in the upper right hand corner. I'm sorry that C is not super visible to you. This week's list has 17 words. The first um, set of words all start with X, which is a prefix, which often means out. First word, excellent. Three syllables. Her excellent work is superior to mine. Think to spell E X S E O O E N T. We only say one of those L's in speech, but we're going to think about both so we can spell excellent properly. Spell excellent out loud. E X C E L L E N T. Excellent. Number two. Excuse. Excuse. Two syllables. Please excuse yourself before leaving. First syllable, X. Second syllable, K, U, Z. The verb excuse uses the second sound for S. The noun, spelled the same way, uses the first sound, and we would say excuse. Do you have an excuse for what you've done? Spell excuse out loud. E-X-C-U-S-E. -E, excuse. Number three, excite. Two syllables. Winning a vacation will excite him. Think to spell X -S I. Spell excite out loud. E X C I T E. Excite. That silent E is making the I say I. Number four. Exciting. Three syllables. Some people find extreme sports exciting. Remember about the dropping E's rule? If we have a word that has a silent E, and we want to add a vowel suffix, so that means an ending that starts with a vowel, we don't need that silent E anymore. So we can also think to spell X S I T I N. So in this case, the I is staying I because it's still at the end of a, it now is at the end of a syllable. And so you'll see that right here. Spell exciting, E-X-C-I-T-I-N-G. So you can see the word excite in there without the E. And then we've added the suffix I-N-G. Number five, excitement. In this case, we're adding a ment, M-E-N-T ending, that does not start with a vowel, so we're still going to need that silent E in excite. It's three syllables. The fun field trip was cause for excitement. X-S-I-T-M-E-N-T. Excitement. So you can think about those three syllables, or you can just think about writing excite and adding an M-E-N-T at the end. 
spell excitement out loud. E-X-C-I-T-E-M-E-N-T, -E -E excitement. Number six, example. Three syllables. A rose is an example of a flower. Think to spell X A M P O Spell example out loud. E X A M P L E. Example. That silent E is there because each syllable needs a vowel. Rule number four. Number seven. Exercise. Three syllables. In exercise your body to help stay healthy. X. Er is in her. S I Z. Be careful, this is not the same size as in big or small size. It's spelled differently. In this case, the size is spelled C-I-S-E. The S is saying its second sound. And we're using a C because the I can make it say C. Spell exercise out loud. E X E R C I S E. Exercise. Number eight. Experience. Four syllables. A summer job gave me lifeguarding experience. Think to spell. X P E R E E Silent E at the end to make that C say S, G and C rule three. The E is saying E at the end of a syllable. Spell experience out loud. E-X-P-E-R-I-E-N-C-E. -E -E. Experience. Number nine, explain. Two syllables. Can you explain how the vase broke? Think to spell. X. P. O. A. N. Spell explain out loud. E X P L A I N. Explain. Number 10. Expect. Two syllables. When do you expect them to arrive? Expect. X P E C T. Expect. Spell it out loud. E X P E C T. Expect. Number 11. And that's the end of our E X words. Number 11. Develop. Three syllables. Her talent will develop if she works hard. Think to spell D E V E O A. I'm sorry, I'm going to fix that. Um, my second syllable was incorrect, so we're going to think to spell D E V E O O P. I don't think that's what I did. The E is saying E at the end of a syllable. Spell develop out loud D E V E L O P. Develop. 
Number 12, development. So we're going to just spell develop and add an M-E-N-T suffix. Spell development out loud. D-E-V-E-L-O-P-M-E-N-T. Development. Number 13, government. It's the word govern plus the suffix M-E-N-T. Three syllables. The government makes laws to protect the people. Government. Think to spell. G, uh, v, er, m, m, e, n, t. Spell government out loud. G O V E R N M E N T. Government. Number 14 and 15 are homophones. Number 14 is accept. To take, welcome, or to get used to. Begins with A C, which is commonly a prefix that means to. Except the girl went on stage to accept an award. Accept. Think to spell. A k s e p t. Spell accept as in to take or welcome A C C E P T accept number 15 these two aren't so um, super true homophones but they almost always sound the same in English speech as people are talking quickly but number 15 is accept it's another EX word um, it uses the EX beginning and then Sept. So we're going to think to spell X S E P T. And that definition means not including. I am sad that everyone was invited except me. Remember that C is saying second sound because of the E. Except. E-X-C-E-P-T, except, not including. Number 16, access, as in entry or the ability to get into. A key is needed for access to the home. Remember the A-C often means to or towards. Think to spell A. Access, as in entry or the ability to get into, A C C E S S, access. And the emphasis is on the first syllable, access. Number 17 is excess. The emphasis on this word is on the second syllable and it means too much or overage. And it uses the EX. So we're going to think to spell X S S. So again, not true homophones if we're careful how we're speaking, but usually in regular normally um, normally spoken English they sound very similar if not the same. So, excess as in too much or over E-X-C-E-S-S -S. Be sure to spell it out loud and then write it in your notebook. That's the end of week 12C. See you next time.